So now, um, now that we've finished actually taking the credentials, um, now we're gonna actually talk to Composer. So this is kind of the fun part. So now we're gonna use this command, um, Composer card create, and we're gonna need to uh, pass in our enroll secret. So if you go all, if you scroll all the way down, you should get to certificate authorities in your connection profile, and you should see something like enroll secret, and that's this right here, and that's what we're gonna use. That's what we're gonna pass in here um, when we're actually creating our composer card. So we're gonna do that. Um, we see it succeeded. Again, all of the commands that I'm I'm doing right now, um, I'll 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 create it. Uh, a script or a GitHub gist so you have all of these uh, easy to, to be ready and copy and paste. So next we're going to import this card. Um, after that we're going to request uh, credentials from the certificate authority and then we're going to put them into this credentials directory. So you'll see here we'll get a new directory in a second. This is it. Great. So at this point, we want, we've generated our certificates and we have this public key and we need to actually uh, and put this public key into our new network. So if we go into our new network, um, we should see if we click on channel, we have three. Um, we should have three blocks here. Um, and then now, if we go to members and then certificates, we'll click add certificate. We'll say demo, and then we'll just copy and paste this whole file. Again, that's the a public key, so you'll know because it says a pub uh, dot pem there. And that's just from the credentials directory that we just made. Um, and then we'll hit restart peers here. Um, and then uh, after that, uh, we'll basically be able to um, sync their certificate across the channels. And then after that, we should see a new block being added because our environment has changed because we've synced these certificates to our peers. So actually, the, the way to sync the certificate is in the channel. So now we'll hit sync certificate, submit. Okay, so now we should have four blocks. Okay, perfect. Um, and then if we go ahead and click the details, um, we see that it's just an update. Okay, so next we're gonna actually um, create another card for our admin. Um, so we'll go back in our editor and we'll use this composer card create command and it's gonna take in the admin card that we made and it's gonna take in the connection profile and it's gonna put in our certificates as well that we got from our certificate authority. And we're gonna give this admin uh, the role of peer admin and channel admin. Okay, so we succeeded, we see this new card and then we're gonna go ahead and import the card as always. Okay, and now um, once we're in our actual directory, we should be able to do something like Composer Archive Create. And now we created this uh, blockchain bean at um, at 1.1.0. Um, we can go ahead and just rename this to make it a little bit. Okay, so we just renamed it to blockchainbean.bna. Um, now we're going to uh, install the network. Um, so we'll go ahead, oops, uh, clear. Uh, okay, so we'll clear. Um, so now we're going to install the network and we just need our actual um, blockchainbean.bna file. Uh, I'll just type it up. Okay, so this is going to take a second. Okay, perfect. So we've created our uh, installed our network, and now we see that our version is 1.1.0. That's important. Um, so the next um, command, so the next command is going to be this, and we're going to just modify it a little bit. Um, so here we'll just say 1.1.0, um, and then our network is just blockchain being here. Okay, so now we're actually starting the network. Okay, so now that our um, business network is actually installed, we're pretty much ready to go now. Um, and we should see the block height to be five. Um, now we want to actually 
um, create a card for the network administrator. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so this is the command for that. Um, take this. Okay. So we're creating this uh, card for the administrator. We're going to import the card, like as always. Okay, so this is my favorite part. So at this point, we have to log in to Cloud Foundry. So we'll do a CF login. So now it's going to ask for your for your IBM Cloud credentials. So you just put in your uh, if if you're external to IBM, you'll just put in your username and password, or it will be your email and password. For me, I'll have to get a passcode. Okay, now I'm authenticated. Now you just choose your org where you have all of your um, uh, blockchain services and, and cloud services. And now you choose your space. Okay, so uh, now that we've actually go oh, went in and, and logged into our account, uh, we can go ahead and push our app. Okay, so I, so after we do this composer card import command, the CF push command, we need to actually do admin at blockchain bean. Um, we drop off this dot card extension. So we'll go ahead and do this CF push. We'll do the CF env again. And then the last thing we need to do is just this CF start. And once it's started, um, that's pretty much it. You've created your REST API and I'll, sh I'll demo it out. Okay, so now we see that it's running um, and we can go ahead and go to the route here. So this should be your newly created app. Okay, great. Um, now let me show you how to actually invoke it. So for example, we can do a pour cup once we've created this REST API um, and we can go ahead and put this in here. I'll give a random a cup ID. Note that the cup ID, if you look inside the logic of the logic file, it takes only certain characters. So you, um, I recommend starting with NJB and then you can do any sort of uh, number here. You could do 555. Um, so, so just so you can see it better, here's the NJB555. I'll hit try it out. Um, and we see that we got a 200 and we can see the cup ID again, uh, NJB555. And then in our, in this, uh, our, our starter plan, we should use seven blocks now. And we should see if we go inside and inspect the data, um, we should see this NJB555. So if we go ahead and inspect, um, here we go. You can see that we wrote all this data and inside we can see this NJB555 and we see our timestamp. Now, um, if we look, it's 208. So yeah, we see this timestamp here too. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you learned at least something. There's a lot of commands here and you, you have to install a lot of prerequisites to get this running. But once you get it running, it's everything set up and you have a Hyperledger uh, blockchain network running in the cloud. So everything will be saved onto this channel. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a basic intro on how to create this REST server and have it connected to your IBM cloud uh, blockchain service. So again, thanks so much for watching. Um, and I will create a, a separate video, um, a second video to show how to invoke and how to actually submit data with this blockchain Bean app. Um, okay, thanks so much. Bye.